Are you ready for a change? Are you ready to get stronger, to lose weight? Are you willing to put in the work and do whatever it takes? Are you ready to let go of the past? Are you ready to take the fight to diabetes? If so, you've come to the right place. Welcome, I'm Charlie O'Connell. Congratulations on joining the fight against diabetes. This is an interval-based workout specific for the core muscles, the abdominal muscles, the obliques, and the lower back. I want you to go ahead, side to sides tap in between each exercise that we do while we're on our feet. All right, you ready to get started? Let's go. I want you to place your hands right here and you're gonna lift up, lift up. Excellent job, just like that. I'm here with Deb and Sharon. They're gonna be sharing with you guys some variations on these moves if they're too tough or too easy. So just follow along. And before you know it, you're gonna be feeling great. Your waist is gonna be shrinking and you're gonna be feeling great about your abs. Now the first exercise, this first six exercise that we do today is gonna to be standing on our feet. Five, four, three, Two, one, side to side, excellent job. Okay, so that lifting of the knees really engages the core, engages the hip flexor muscle, okay, and is really the foundation for having great posture. Now what you do is grab your ears, and we're gonna cross over, cross, touch, cross, touch, just like that. Now see if you can get your elbow to cross your belly button. Perfect. When we're standing on one foot like this at a time, that automatically engages our core to keep our balance. When we twist, now we're really starting to work the oblique. So this is a fantastic exercise that you can do for your abs really anytime. Five, four, three, two, Pull one, side to side, great job. Shake those arms out a little bit. Take a nice deep breath. Make sure you're breathing this whole time. Sometimes when we do abs, we have the tendency to hold our breath, so don't do that. I want you to grab those ears again, and now we're gonna go same side. Lift, up, lift, up, lift, perfect. Breathing. Now you might be feeling this in your hip muscles, and your hip flexor in particular, okay? That's okay, if you can't come up this high, stick with the range of motion that works for you. Breathing, really now engaging those side abdominal muscles. See if you can get that knee up as high as possible. Four, three, two, one, excellent job, side to side. Okay, now this next exercise is the one exercise where you might wanna use a prop. You don't need to, if you don't have it or if you don't want to, this is a side to side swing. So Sharon's gonna grab a medicine ball, that's gonna grab a little bar, you can use a broom, a Swiffer stick, whatever, I want you to just start swinging. Side to side, inhale, Exhale, come back to the front, inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, squeezing, there we go, exhale, inhale, sucking the stomach in, nice tight waist, exhale, inhale, looking forward, looking right over your shoulder, exhale, inhale, really, on a nice tight waist, here we go, two more, inhale, one more, 
Exhale. Excellent job. Okay, come on back right here. That's a fantastic exercise, especially if you're looking to reduce the size of your waist in the short term. That's a great way to do that. Okay, now let's work very specifically on the core muscles in the lower back. Once you come right here, you're going to half squat, reach up. Squat, reach up. Now we're very specifically working that lower back. Kicking back as far as possible, keeping your chest looking forward, looking at me, not looking down. If you can, look up, but if that makes you dizzy or causes your balance to get off, don't do that. Just stay right forward. Up, perfect. Breathing five seconds. Three, two, one, side to side. Excellent job. Nice big deep breath. Okay. And we've got one more exercise on our feet. We're gonna come into a reverse lunge, raising our hands. So we're coming right down here. Step back, reach up. Back, reach up. It's a little more challenging than the half squat. If this feels too much, you're losing your balance. You can just go right back to that half squat or don't raise your hands as high. But if you can, really try and engage. This is a great core, abdominal, lower back, hips exercise. Five seconds, four, three, two, last one. Excellent job, side to side. Okay, so those were five different exercises, all for the abdominals, all for the core, that we can do standing. You can do it any time, at the office, waiting in line, whatever. Now, let's go ahead and stop, and let's come on down to the ground and start with our on the floor abdominal series. All right, so you should have come on down to the ground. I want you lying down on your back, with your knees up, your feet flat, and we're gonna start off by working those upper abdominal muscles starting with a crunch. Let's go ahead and begin. So, when we crunch, we're going up, down, up, down. That's perfect, just like that. Now, when you do the crunch, all you wanna focus in on is the shoulder blades coming off the ground, okay? It's the only thing that you need to lift. Don't come crazy. Make sure that that chin is facing up to the sky, just like Sharon is doing. This is a perfect technique right here, okay? This is a very challenging exercise that a lot of people mess up, all right? Now, make sure that you're breathing through this entire abdominal series. You're doing a great job. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and rest. Take a big, deep exhale. Relax your neck. Now, place your legs into a butterfly position, like as if you're gonna do a butterfly stretch. Press your lower back flat against the ground, and we're gonna crunch again. Ready, go. Up, down, up, down. Now, notice Deb's doing a perfect job here. Her lower back is pressed flat, okay? She's not straining her neck. She's supporting her head with her hands, and she's breathing. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Crunching, a lot of people make mistakes with crunching. It doesn't have to be a giant movement, okay? As long as those shoulders are coming off the ground and you're breathing, you're doing this correctly. Now, as we go through this abdominal workout, you're gonna start to feel the cramping sensation in those abs. You're doing great, you got three more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. That's okay, okay? If you need to stop at any time, just stop. Now, next, I want you to bring those knees up, feet off the ground, place your hands behind your head again, and now we're gonna touch our elbows to knees. Ready, go. Up, down, perfect. Up, down, up, now. Notice again, Sharon, she's still keeping that chin is still up. She's not, this is not a neck exercise, okay? Don't cramp your neck, that restricts your breathing. 
okay? Making sure that you're exhaling, touching those elbows to the knees. And now notice, okay, for a slightly harder variation of this, Sharon is bringing those feet almost down and back up, whereas Deb is really just keeping those legs exactly in the same position. Either one is fine, okay? What we're starting to do now is really flex the lower back. Got three more seconds. Three, two, one. Great job, rest. Okay, next, I want you to lift those legs straight up in the air, okay? You're gonna reach opposite hand to opposite toe. In three, two, one, go. Now, there's two variations on this exercise. One, you can do like them, which is just your knees are bent slightly, okay? And she's reaching, and really, this exercise is more in the arms, so she's just reaching. Okay, she's doing an excellent job. This is perfect, perfect. We're starting now to work down the abdominal wall. Or Sharon's moving a little bit harder. Notice her shoulders are coming off of the ground. So this is a much more challenging movement. Okay, either one is fine. Either one is the right one for you, wherever you're at. Just keep going and make sure you're breathing. Don't strain your neck. Okay, breathe. You got three more seconds. Three, two, one more. Great job. Relax. When you hug your knees, okay, hug those knees. Let the uh, lower back stretch out. Next, okay, I want you to cross your left leg over your right. All right left leg over your right, and we're gonna do something called a four for one. So a four for one is, Deb's gonna demonstrate, crunch up one, legs two, legs three, head four. Do it again, one, two, three, four. You go, one, two, three, Four, good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, perfect. One, two, three, four. One, you're gonna feel this stretch in your lower back. You might be feeling this right in the back of the leg. This is one of the best exercises you can do. You got three more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. I want you to switch those legs. Switch those legs, excellent job. Okay, now we're doing the same thing again. All right, here we go, three, two, one, go. Head one, legs two, legs crunch. Excellent, two, three, four. So let's talk about, Deb is doing variation one here, which each movement is a separate movement. Okay, this is perfectly fine, but if you're ready to take it to the next, uh, take it to the next step, Really challenging workout. I want you to notice that Sharon is crunching on each one. So each exercise accompanies a crunch, right? But she's also getting the legs involved. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Make sure to keep that chin up. Make sure you're breathing, okay? Very common mistake when we're doing abdominal exercises to hold our breath. Don't hold your breath, breathe. Two more, one more, rest. Fantastic job. Wow, that's one of the best exercises you can do. Now, I want you to bring your heels as close to your butt as possible. This is a lying bridge with both legs. So we're gonna lift our hips up. Ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, perfect. Just like that. Now, I want you to, let's take a look at Deb here. Deb's got her hands out to the side, okay? She's breathing, she's not holding her breath. She's not scrunching her neck. She's just working those pelvic muscles, those hip flexors in the lower back, okay? If you're ready to take it to the next step, watch Sharon, she's got a, a nice grip on her mat and she's lifting up, really arching the back as much as possible, squeezing those glutes, okay? This is now really engaging the lower back. You got two more seconds, one more rest. Excellent job. Okay, let's extend those legs out. Just shake them out for a second. Now we're gonna give the neck a break here, okay? So I want you to bring the feet back into the original position we were at. We're doing something called reverse crunches. All that's doing, bringing your knee to your chest, feet back to the ground. Ready, go. Up, down, up, down, up, 
perfect, perfect job. Now we've worked our way down the abdominal wall. Now we're really starting to work those lower abs. Now, this is a perfectly good variation, but if you're ready, you're ready to take it to the next level, I want you to extend those legs all the way out. Now this is significantly harder. You might want to put your hands, just like Sharon's done, underneath the uh, back to support yourself. Okay, either way, you're doing a great job, but I want you to breathe. One more second, and rest. Excellent job. Relax, make sure the shoulders are relaxed. And next thing we're gonna do is a lying scissor kick. So I want you to place, now everybody place your hands below your back, send those legs straight out, and we're gonna start to scissor kick, okay? So, a couple variations that we can do here. This is a very challenging exercise, okay? Deb and Sharon are doing an amazing job here showing you a couple variations. Now Deb's doing probably the easier one where she's just keeping her legs in place. If this is too hard, Deb's doing a great job. Her le legs are nice and low. To make it slightly easier, bring those legs up. Now, if you're ready for a challenge, Sharon's got a moving scissor kick. So she's bringing those legs up and down. Very, very challenging exercise, engaging the entire abdominal wall. Three, two, one, rest. Fantastic, fantastic job. Okay, bring those hands back below the uh, lower back again. Legs flat out. Now we're doing leg lifts. So you're gonna keep your legs as straight as possible. Ready, go. Up and down. Up, perfect. Now let's talk about a couple variations because this is a very challenging exercise. Debs. Basically doing a reverse crunch, keeping those knees bent, totally fine. The key here, I want you to keep pressing your lower back. Press that lower back flat into the ground while you're lifting your legs. Or if you're ready, okay, taking it to that much harder variation, notice Sharon, notice how straight her legs are, okay? She's so still breathing. You have to breathe in all of these exercises. Now this is really gonna challenge you. It's gonna engage the entire abdominal wall and the lower back. Two more seconds. Two, one, rest. Fantastic job. All right, now let's really work on those lower abs. I want you to bring the legs straight up in the air, okay? And we're gonna pulse. Ready, go. Up, down, up, down, up. There it is, I'm sure you're feeling that right there, those inner abs, those lower abs, okay? Now, notice Deb, she's doing a fantastic job. Her legs are bent, but her heel is still up to the ceiling, okay? That's exactly what we want. You want a little bit more of a challenge, straighten those legs out, and then if possible, flex those toes back. Wow, look at that. Look at that, you're gonna feel that right here, right in those lower abdominal area. This is one of the best exercise possible for lower abs, okay? You're doing great, you got three more seconds. Two, one, rest, hug those knees. Fantastic, fantastic job. Okay, next, we're gonna go a bicycle kick. All right, so, Deb's gonna show variation one. Getting ready, go, touch, down. Touch, perfect, just like that, that's excellent, excellent. Now, you look here, Deb is placing the feet back on the ground each time. The trick with the bicycle kick is you wanna get that full range of motion, getting that elbow all the way across to that opposite knee. If you're ready, let's take it to that next level. Now, I want you to notice, here's why Sharon is doing so good with this. She's still getting the twist going, but she's got the full range of motion. Those legs are extending all the way out. And notice her lower back is pressed flat, flat against the ground. She's not arching her back, okay? Don't arch your back. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Fantastic job. Okay, now, I want you to bring those legs straight up in the air again. We're gonna do a pulse, but we're gonna do it with a twist. So, you're gonna bring those legs straight up in the air, lift up, and now twist your hips side to side. 
Oh yeah, I know that you're feeling that one now. Now this is really engaging those lower abs and the obliques. What a fantastic exercise this is. Now, let's talk about a couple variations. Debs is moving very nice, turning. She's still getting the full benefit, okay? But her leg, her, her, um, her lower back is just slightly off the ground, whereas Sharon here is really getting after it, okay? She's twisting at a very rapid rate and her back is really off of the ground, okay? Five more seconds, I know you're feeling it. Four, three, two, one, rest, great job. Hug those knees, hug those knees. Okay, now this next exercise is gonna be a little bit of a stretch. It's called a single leg extension crunch. So I want you to hug those knees. You're gonna crunch, at the same time you crunch, you're gonna extend one leg straight up in the air. Deb, why don't you show us how to do that? Crunch, extend. Now come back to the other leg, crunch, extend. Ready, you do it, here we go. Crunch, extend, crunch, perfect, just like that. Now, this is one of the best exercises you can do. When you crunch, that lifts the abdominal wall up. When you extend your leg, that pulls the abdominal wall flat. So what you're getting is this true extension of the abdominal wall and the lower back. This is one of the best exercises you can do. If possible, straighten that leg, the heel pointing to the sky. You're gonna really feel that stretch all the way from your lower back to your heel. Three more seconds. Two, one, stop. Fantastic job. Wow. Okay. Bring those legs up in the air again. You're doing great. Don't stop now. Now we're doing side to side leg swings. Ready? Go. So bring those from one side to the other. Perfect. Just like that. Perfect. Now let's talk about variations. Deb here's going to bend those knees. It's going to make it a little bit easier. It's going to take pressure off of the spinal twist. Okay, it's not going to feel as heavy. This is a perfect, perfect variation for this exercise. Okay, you're still getting the, the obliques working. You're still engaging the lower back and the core. When you're ready, extend those legs straight out. Let them come as far as possible. You're doing great. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hug your knees. Great job. Okay, that was a fantastic effort. We worked every bit of the abdominal wall, starting at the top, going all the way down. Now what I want you to do, roll over onto your stomach. Okay, transitioning over, there you go. And the first thing we're gonna do is swimmers. So, when you're ready, in three, two, one, go. I want you to start lifting up and down, up and down. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Breathing, don't hold your breath. Now, two variations. Deb is doing such a great job here. Nice little movements, okay? Notice her lower back is engaged, okay? Her hamstrings, all right? And she's breathing. And you're ready to take it to that next level. Look at Sharon, those legs are coming up super high, those arms are coming up high, and most importantly, her shoulders are off the ground. This is engaging the lower back. This is such a great exercise. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, all right. Now, I want you to place your hands underneath your shoulders, and we're gonna come up into a push-up position plank in three, two, one, go. All right, now, this is the foundation for upper body strength, core strength, we're working everything here, working the lower back. Now, this is too much, just come down on the knees, just like that, it's perfect, okay? Make sure that you're not arching your back or you're not letting the, the back, uh, excuse me, letting the stomach fall, just a nice, perfect straight line. If you're ready to take it to that next level, Take it out to this, look at this incredible, incredible abdominal and core strength right here. One arm, one leg. Okay, you're doing fantastic. Keep it right here, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic job. Come on down onto your side. Okay, so there we go, coming back. We're gonna go side plank position. 
holding in three, two, one, go. Now let's lift up. Let's talk about a couple variations. So Deb is on her elbow. Okay, you're doing a great job. She's holding her, her body up with that opposite arm, okay? This is a perfectly good variation. This itself is extremely challenging. Or let's take it now to that whole next level. Up on the side, okay? If you can, lift that leg. This is an incredibly challenging exercise. The whole core is engaged. You can also bring one foot out, okay, to make it easier, okay? Just breathe here, don't hold your breath. Four, three, two, one. Come on back down, fantastic job. Okay, next step, I want you to switch over so you're facing the front. Next, we're gonna go side crunch leg lift. So, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna crunch to the side, at the same time you're gonna lift your leg. Three, two, one, go. Up, down, up, perfect, just like this. Now we're really focusing on those obliques, okay? Couple variations. You can just stay right here, just the elbow, using the arm, okay, to brace yourself. Or if you're ready, we can really start to get after it. Lifting those knees up and even bending them. Okay, see if you can touch that elbow to the knee. Really crunching, it's fantastic. This is such a good job Deb's doing here. See that, you can see it. You can see the, the oblique crunching. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Great job. Okay, now let's switch over to the other side. Okay, so Sharon, go ahead and so you're gonna switch, you're gonna be facing backwards. Okay, we're coming on to a side plank. So Deb, you're gonna switch because that's when you were on the first time. In three, two, one, go. So coming up into a side plank. Let's talk about the first variation again. Notice that she's holding herself up. The foot is on the side or she can bring it right there. Whichever one works for you. Or if you're ready, take it to that next position. Up on the hands, the arm is up. The leg is coming up. This is one of the best, most challenging exercises you can do. The entire core is engaged here. Now, don't hold your breath. Breathe, 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 breathe. For five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic job. Bring it down slowly. And let's get ready to do that. our side crunching. So we're coming to the other side. Okay, go ahead and turn it around. That's fine. And three, two, one, go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I want you to notice something here. Deb's shoulder blade is still coming off the ground. That's the key to this exercise. You want that shoulder blade that's on the ground coming off, just tapping the elbow, tapping the elbow to the hip. Or if you're ready, you can take it to that next level where the knee is coming up off the ground. Okay, the elbow is still touching, in this case, touching the knee. This is a really, really challenging exercise. You can do it, you got 10 more seconds. Okay, really feeling it. Breathing on each one. Three, two, one, break. Fantastic job. Okay, I want you to come now, lying on your stomach again. Okay, lying on your stomach again. Now we're gonna go both arms, both legs at the same time in three, two, one, go. Up, down. Perfect, perfect. Now we're really, I know you know where you're feeling this, right in that lower back, okay? Couple variations. Deb is keeping her arms bent. Okay, if this is too challenging, keep both hands on the ground and just press up. The key here is I want the bending, the lifting, the legs are coming off the ground. Or if you're ready, if you're ready to take it to that next level, look at coming up. Arms are straight out. This is one of the most challenging exercises you're gonna do. The legs are coming up, getting the full lower back engagement. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. I want you to come back into a child's pose. Okay, so when we come into a child's pose, the knees are wide and we're reaching back. 
letting it, you just did such a fantastic job there. I want you to breathe. I want you to let the spine elongate. So the head is resting, the forehead is coming down to the ground, the spine is elongating, the butt is coming to the heels. Okay, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your neck, taking a big deep breath. You just did such an amazing job there. We just worked the entire core and core and abdominal section of our body. Each section of the abs, we worked each side and of course the lower back. I want you to take a nice big deep breath. Okay, and we're done. Fantastic job. We'll see you in the next workout.